Hello everybody and welcome back to the Financial Wolf channel. In this video, we are going to be selling candy at my high school for an entire week. Well, almost. We're going to be selling candy at my high school starting tomorrow, which is a Tuesday, and I'm going to be documenting the process of selling candy at my school until Friday afternoon. So we have four days to make a huge amount of profit selling candy at school. To start this candy selling adventure off, we're going to need a bunch of stuff to resell at my school. I already have some general things like Jolly Ranchers or chips, but I do want to get some more candy like Skittles, Starburst, Hershey's, Reese's, and all that kind of popular candy that high schoolers are willing to pay cash money for. So everyone, I'm going to head over to Walmart right now to get some candy that I know will sell at my high school for a huge profit. All right, everyone, we are now inside Walmart. We've got a cart. Now let's go get some candy to resell. I just bought a bunch of candy as you guys can see right here I'm gonna be going over everything I bought and how much I paid for it as soon as I get home all right everyone so we are back home here in the office and it is time for me to show you what candy I bought and how much it cost me so the first candy I got was a Skittles and Starburst variety pack as you can see right here this cost me a total of $11.84, and there are a total of 18 Skittles and Starbursts in this pack. So I'm gonna sell each of them for a dollar each, and I'm gonna make about $6 profit if I sell all of these candies. The next candy I ended up getting was a chocolate variety pack. It has Kit Kats, Reese's, and Hershey's. There are a total of 18 in here. It cost me $11.84 once again, and I'm gonna sell each of them for a dollar each. Each, and I'm gonna make a total of six dollars profit if I sell all of these candies right here the last candy that I bought at Walmart today was cosmic brownies I bought this pack right here for one dollar and eighty six cents there are a total of six cosmic brownies in here and I'm gonna sell each of them for fifty cents so I'm gonna make three dollars on my about two dollar investment and trust me these will probably go in one day they're pretty popular at my school so everyone in total i spent 26 dollars and 75 cents after tax on all of the candy i bought at walmart today i have skittles starburst cosmic brownies reese's hershey's Kit Kat, and I also have Jolly Ranchers and chips left over from another YouTube video I made on selling candy on the Financial Wolf channel. So everyone, hopefully we make a very good amount of profit throughout this candy selling adventure. Let's shoot for $100 in revenue throughout this journey. I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes, and I'll stay in touch with you guys tomorrow. Day one. All right, everyone, so it's the beginning of day one. I'm about to drive over to school right now, and you already know I've got a bunch of candy in this bag right here. I'm hoping to have a really good day of sales at school. Let's shoot for around $20 in revenue today. I'm gonna be filming as much as I can while I'm at school, going up to people and getting sales. So I'll see you guys as soon as I'm at school. All right, everyone, we're at school right now. Hopefully the candy sales go okay, and uh, wish me luck. 
Day one of selling candy at school actually went a lot better than I expected. I made a total of $22 in revenue. Some of the best sellers throughout the day were Cosmic Brownies. Yeah, so I have Cosmic Brownies, chips, Skittles, Starburst. We've got everything. Is there anything you want? Oh, give me a Cosmic Brownie. Yeah, so those are 50 cents. I got my 50 cents right here. Right. There you go, man. Yes, Appreciate sir. Appreciate you doing business with Wolf Candy. Skittles and Starburst. People really enjoyed those types of candies and they actually sold out by the end of the day. The candies that did not end up selling as well was the entire chocolate selection. People preferred fruity kinds of candy over chocolate kinds of candy. Although I did end up selling out of Skittles, Starburst, and Cosmic Brownies, I did not end up restocking at the end of day one because I want to make sure that people are going to buy my chocolate selection of candy. I don't want to restock on fruity candy because then people are going to go for that instead of buying out my chocolate stock. So I decided to go through day two without any fruity candy and see if people would instead go for some of my chocolate selection. Day two. All right, everyone, so it is now the beginning of day two. I sold out of a lot of candy yesterday, as I mentioned earlier, so hopefully I'm still able to have a really good day with candy sales. Wish me luck, guys. Let's shoot for 20 to 25 bucks in revenue today. Day two of selling candy at school wasn't quite as successful as day one. We made a total of $13 in revenue throughout day two, which brings us to a total of $35 in revenue so far throughout this candy selling adventure. The reason that I think day two wasn't quite as successful as day one breaks down to two things. The first reason that day two wasn't quite as successful as day one is because during day two, I didn't have as much selection of candy. In day one, I had Skittles, Starburst, and Cosmic Brownies, while during day two, I did not have this candy anymore for sale. When I had a bigger variety of candy for sale, my candy services appealed to greater masses of people, while when I only had chocolate, only a limited amount of people were willing to buy candy from me. The second reason that day two wasn't quite as successful as day number one was because administrators were watching me very closely. So I was just selling candy at lunch like I normally do and I had to leave a little bit early because I think the administrators were looking at me and uh, it was kind of scary so had to dip out a little early. Missed out on some sales but it's better to stay safe than be sorry. A lot of them had seen me sell candy throughout day one and they were being a little bit suspicious of what I was doing. So I had to watch my every move to make sure I wouldn't get caught selling candy already on day number two. So that is why I made less sales. I wasn't reaching as many people because administrators were watching me like hawks. Before day number three starts, I do want to get a lot more candy to resell at school. I'm gonna be spending the $35 in revenue I have made so far selling candy at my school on some more product that I know will yield me a huge profit. All right, everyone, so we just arrived at Walmart. I think the snacks we're gonna go with today are some Skittles, Starburst, and of course, Cosmic Brownies. just like that everybody we are out of here the total for all of the candy cost us fifteen dollars and ninety one cents quite steep but I know we're gonna make our money back on this investment and I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow which is day three and hopefully we're gonna start making some more profit with candy sales day three 
All right, everyone. So it is now day three of selling candy at school. Hopefully today is another good day of selling candy. I'm hoping for $25 in revenue today since we're fully restocked on all product. And I know there's no excuse not to sell a lot today. So I'll let you guys know how it goes throughout the day and uh, wish me luck. Day three of selling candy at school actually went a lot better than day number two. People were very happy with me that I once again restocked on my fruity selection of candy. I had Skittles and Starburst once again, and I also restocked on Cosmic Brownies. People were going crazy for Cosmic Brownies. I actually ended up raising my price to $1 for each Cosmic Brownie, and that actually worked out in my favor because they still sold out. It is absolutely crazy how that works. People didn't care about the price. They just knew that they wanted to get their hands on some Cosmic Brownies. So in total, on day number three, I made a total of $22 in revenue. Cosmic brownies were the only thing that sold out throughout day three. I'm pretty low on Skittles and Starburst, but I'm gonna continue selling throughout the rest of the week without restocking because I don't wanna be left with any excess candy by the end of Friday. Day four. Okay, everyone, so today is the last day of selling candy at school. I'm determined to make this day awesome. Yesterday wasn't as good of a day since I was kind of scared of getting caught, but today I absolutely do not care since it's the last day I'm going to be selling candy. It doesn't matter if I get caught at all, and it just makes for better YouTube content. So we're going to go ahead and head inside, and we're going to be selling candy like crazy today. The final day of selling candy at school was actually my best day throughout this entire week. I sold out of literally everything but four Hershey's bars and one roll of Starburst that you see right here. I was extremely happy at the number of sales I made throughout the final day of selling candy at school. I made a total of $28 in revenue throughout day number four. I sold out of every kind of Skittles I had. I basically sold out of every single Starburst but one roll. I sold out of chips and I sold out of Jolly Ranchers. And I had bought a big pack of those before starting this candy selling adventure and I still managed to sell out. One person in particular bought $5 in Jolly Ranchers from me, so they got 20 Jolly Ranchers. In conclusion, this experience of selling candy at school was definitely one I don't regret doing. I made a total of $85 in revenue throughout just four days of selling candy. I'm super proud of how much money I made. Like, look at all this cash. I got all these ones, all these like tens, fives. It's crazy. I feel like some sort of like drug lord. Now everyone, with that all being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys made it to the end, please be sure to drop a like and also subscribe to the Financial Wolf channel. I would appreciate it so much if you did. And also everyone, we now have Financial Wolf merchandise, so please be sure to check it out. It is the top link of the description and it will also be the pinned comment down below. Go ahead and cop yourself a Financial Wolf shirt. They're super comfortable and you support the channel if you decide to get Get a shirt for yourself. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I appreciate every single one of you guys and peace out.